Comments in Python. Comments allow a programmer and other readers a quick, easy way to understand code. They provide a description of what is occurring in a piece of code without having to read the code itself. This is very helpful if you're reading code in a language with which you're not familiar. The comments will explain it. Comments are not read by the computer, so they don't affect how the code runs. Comments will be useful once you're coding more complicated Python programs. Also, all Python code submitted in this course should have a comment on the first line stating your name, the date, and the title of the assignment. In Python, a single line comment, so a comment that's only one line, begins with a pound sign. So we have pound, the following code will print hello world, then we have our statement here that the computer will actually run. The font color of a comment will be different from the font color in a line of code. In this course, comments will be in gray while the code is in black. This helps you easily recognize them. Comments are not part of the code and will not affect how the program runs. You can even use the pound sign for comments that span multiple lines. So here we have four lines of comments. It says first line of code, then we actually have code here. This is a statement. Print, I am happy, and then the output is I am happy. Comments are not executed by the computer. They do not affect the program whatsoever. A common tactic used by computer programmers is to write out step-by-step -step in comments what the program will do. After they've written the comments, they go back and actually write the code. So a program might start out looking like this. Hashtag ask the user what their age is. Hashtag add seven years to the age. Hashtag output the new age. You can see the full structure of the program before coding. This is like using pseudocode before coding. Then the code is added. So under the first comment, ask the user what their age is, we print what is your age, and then save the user input as an integer into the variable age. Under the next comment, add seven to the age, we take the age they entered, we add seven, and then save that new value back into the age variable. And finally, under the third comment, output the new age, we have our print statement where we output their new age. And you leave the comments in so that other programmers can easily follow what your program is doing.